What's going on everybody? It's Kyle Vinick and today we're gonna get into an alarm clock by iHome. It features cool things like Bluetooth, FM radio, USB charging, and more. There are a lot of features to cover on this alarm clock so I'm just gonna start by running through the features and then list the cons and the pros of this device. The first thing that I noticed from this alarm clock is that it's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. I don't know, it just seemed like the pictures online just made it look a lot bigger. But I think it takes as much space as a regular alarm FM radio. Radio alarm clock? So one thing I really love about this alarm clock is that setting an alarm is very customizable. You're able to set the alarm tone to Bluetooth audio, FM radio, or the built-in alarm sound. You can also set the volume of the alarm sound and whether or not you want the orb to light up. And if setting one alarm is not enough, you're able to set up to two different alarms. Now the very attractive feature of this device is the light orb. It surrounds the main screen as the clock is easier to read. I think it looks sick. So you get different lighting modes like a slow fade, a faster fade, single color, or color based on the time of day. That basically goes from light blue to dark blue. It would be pretty cool if it went by the color of the sky, but I guess the tech is not on that level yet. You're also able to adjust the brightness, not just the brightness of the colorful lights, but also the main screen. So the FM radio pretty much works as like any other FM radio. The thing you gotta watch out for is the antenna. You know, sometimes you gotta adjust it and shit. And you're able to set up to six presets. There is one thing I don't like how that works, but I'll get it, I'll get into it later. And the cool thing about this alarm clock is that you can play music via Bluetooth or the aux cable. And obviously, you can use this thing as a speakerphone and all those cool stuff. So taking it from the back, we got that aux port. We got a USB port to charge phones, tablets, and all that good stuff. And then we got a Bluetooth button to make the pairing process a little more easy. So that pretty much covers all the features and everything. And now, I'm going to talk about the bad and the good things about this device. So starting off with the things I don't like. It's not much, so I'm just gonna number it, you know what I'm saying? Number one, the buttons are flushed. I mean, like, for a standard alarm clock, it wouldn't be a big deal, but we have a lot of features, we have a lot of things going on in this alarm clock, and we have a lot of buttons. And with these flush buttons, it can get really complicated. The worst part is when you're waking up from an alarm, and then you're trying to hit the power off button, but you gotta find it first, and then you become the alarm, waking up the whole neighborhood. But yo, I think the best solution would be to have a remote. That way, you don't have to get up to turn the alarm off. And it'll be easier to hit that button. And of course, having a remote, why not add a play pause for music and uh, adjusting the volume? Pretty much all the functions you have on the actual unit. I know I'm just dreaming, but please. Number three, the Bluetooth connection is pretty bad. The actual range is not that bad. Um, honestly, I haven't stood far enough for the connection to cut off, but I do use this device every day, so maybe in the comments below I'll, I'll put in an update. But what does cut off is the sound. Like, I'll be sitting in the same room and I'll, I'll have my phone just about like three feet away from the alarm clock, and then the sound would just stop playing for like three seconds and then come back to life. Maybe it's just my phone, I don't know. But if you guys already have this alarm clock, let me know if you guys have the same issue. Number four, playing through the radio presets is super annoying. You can only go to the next preset as long as the current preset is shown, which is visible for like one second. So most of the time, I would have to press the next button twice. All right, now on to the pros. Number one, is that something like this actually exists. When I was younger, I was always listening to the radio. And now with how technology is, the amount of music and other forms of audio are more available on the internet. So it's hard to keep a radio on the side on top of that. Number two, the audio quality is pretty good. This ain't the type to show out with, but for an alarm clock, it's acceptable. Not as bassy as I want it, but it's also not flat. The good thing is that it gets really loud.
So yeah, that's pretty much it. It's an alarm clock that keeps up with some of the latest tech. When you put in frequent use in this piece of tech, it could turn out to be an essential device in your everyday life. I really hope they release a new version of this thing. I know it's already good the way it is, but I think about the more use I would put in if it fixed some of its flaws. Like, ultimately, if it had a remote, man, you don't even know. Anyways, that's gonna do it for me. As always, comment down below. Let me know what you think about the video. And make sure you're subscribed for the latest. Later, 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 later.